We have officially hit the new year for NBA basketball. The NBA draft is today and the new year officially starts on July 1st. And when we get to this time of year, everyone wants to know all the offseason moves teams are going to make. Everyone is turning on their Twitter notifications to Adrian Wojnarowski and Sham Shanaria, trying to be the first to know the latest news in the NBA. Now my favorite thing to do is check the replies to Woj and Sham's tweets because you always see fans arguing back and forth about who is better, who breaks news faster, and they always send memes back and forth. Since the NBA is the biggest sport in pop culture and among fans in the United States, everyone cares about free agency more than the other sports. And to be honest, it is the most fun. Every year you get players being moved in trades, and most people want to know who is going to sign that premier free agent. And everyone and their mother go out refreshing their Twitter accounts to see the latest Woj bomb, or some Shams fans call them Sham Wows. I don't know of any videos on YouTube about the rivalry between these two, and I thought it'd be fun to look at both of the reporters, their backgrounds, and how the feud came to be. So I hope you enjoy, make sure you subscribe for more content, and let's get into the rivalry of Woj and Shams. Let's start with the teacher, Adrian Wojnarowski first. Woj was born in Bristol, Connecticut and graduated from St. Bonaventure in 1991. In 1997, he started working for The Record in New Jersey and wrote sports articles and contributed ESPN on various topics. In 2006, he wrote The Miracle of St. Anthony, a season with coach Bob Hurley in the most improbable dynasty. But in 2007, he left the record and joined Yahoo Sports full time. And in March of 2009, he and Dan Wetzel wrote a story about Connecticut men's basketball about their program receiving several recruiting violations. In 2010, the New York Post reported that Woj was being sued by the Penguin Group for failing to meet the deadline of a book covering the life of Jim Falvano, and Wojnarowski responded by that problem being a miscommunication between his agent and himself, and he said that he would be returning the money to the Penguin books. Woj built an empire at Yahoo Sports with several other NBA insiders, and they dominated the NBA news, free agency, and trade talk. But in 2017, right after the draft, Adrian Wojnarowski left Yahoo Sports for ESPN, and they laid off a lot of people and paid him a lot of money to get him. But what about Shams? What is his story? Well, Shams Shanari is from Illinois and he went to Loyola University of Chicago. He began his sports writing career at age 17, covering the Chicago Bulls for the Chicago Now. Shams began writing for the Real GM and he established himself by reporting small transactions around the league. After several years of breaking increasingly significant scoops, Shams caught the attention of Adrian Wojnarowski, then working for Yahoo Sports, who described Shams as the best young reporter in the business. So after joining Yahoo, Shams began to break significant deals in the NBA. He was the first to break the number of high-profile signings in the summer of 2016, including Dwight Howard's move to the Atlanta Hawks, DeMar DeRozan's re-signing with the Raptors, and various other deals. So now let's talk about the battle between Woj and Shams. Since Shams was hired to work with Woj at the vertical, Woj became the teacher while Shams was the student. And when Woj was at Yahoo, he was the one that dropped the bombs and made the headlines. But once he left for ESPN, he didn't have a great start because Shams was dropping all the real bombs. Last summer, people were talking about if Woj lost his touch because now he's working for ESPN, and Shams was starting to surpass his teacher because Yahoo was quicker at getting information than ESPN. Here are the results of July 1st, 2017 from Free Agency on who reported what when it came to breaking the news. Shams had all the big-time reports of the top players, while Woj was only getting the small reports out. But over the past season, Woj has slowly but surely taken his spot back as the top dog, and it showed at the NBA trade deadline. Woj had the Isaiah Thomas trade at 12.10 p.m. Shams had it at 12.11 p.m. Woj also had the Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance were going to the Cavs in that deal at 12.05 p.m. And Woj had the Emmanuel Moutier trade at 2.03 p.m. while Shams tweeted it at 2.08 p.m. In the Dwayne Wade trade, Woj had it at 1.06 p.m. while Shams had nothing. In the George Hill trade, Woj broke the news while Shams again had nothing. But this NBA offseason will decide a lot between who is better. The news about Kawhi Leonard winning out of San Antonio will be huge for whatever reporter can break the news if he's traded, and where Paul George is going to sign is another big report. But nothing will top whoever can break the news about where LeBron James is going to sign this summer. Now I feel like LeBron is going to announce it himself, so it doesn't matter who really reports it, but if one of those guys can break the news then they definitely won the offseason and it won't even be close. Now like any supporter of these two, everyone wants to pick a side. My argument for Shams is that this dude is young and has taken the scene by storm. He is a hustler and he has been from a young age. He doesn't sit back, he attacks. And he puts it to shame those who say young people can't succeed in his line of work. I like him because he's relatable. Now Woj, Woj is a true professional. He has taken the long road to get here and has busted his tail for a long time. You have to honor that. Woj has been working hard for much longer time and has really came into the spotlight recently because of social media. But if I had to decide with one over the other when it comes to getting my daily NBA fix from Twitter, it has to be Woj. I like Shams a lot, but Woj has been doing it for much longer and honestly he has been doing it better. It is a silly debate because they are both great at what they do, but that is where I stand. So if I had to pick one to break where LeBron is going to go in free agency, it would be Woj. The great news about tonight is I won't have to worry about either side tipping draft picks early, and I get to see it all unfold on TV. I hate tipping picks and finding out early because the general excitement and buzz you get from seeing the commissioner announce the picks is something I find fun in sports. And this year, neither side will get to win the draft unless they announce trades at the draft, 
because that stuff will take forever to break because the NBA has to approve the deal. So that is the Woj and Shams debate. I hope you enjoyed and comment what team you're on. Are you team Woj or team Shams? Thanks for watching. Thank you.